Hi everyone, welcome to No Killing Cage. We ask one question really quick around the around the board. And today's question, what's the hardest part of being a no-kill advocate? Lots to choose from here. Shirley, why don't you start us off? The hardest part for me is just bearing witness to institutional cruelty and killing. Uh, Aubrey, what's the hardest part about being no kill advocate? I was thinking about this this morning, and I think if I had answered this question about five years ago, I would have answered it differently. And it would have been um, trying so hard to convince people that healthy and treatable animals don't have to die, because to me, that's just completely, it's unethical that they do die. Um, now, sitting where I am, the hardest thing for me personally, and now about being a no-kill advocate, is realizing that no much, no matter how much you advocate, and you try to communicate with people and are rational and use logic and be pragmatic, that you can't always perform things through magical thinking. Sometimes advocacy is just alone is just not enough. And you have to realize that you do your best and you have to just pick your timing. And if it doesn't work out the way you want, you can't get quite as far as you want, that sometimes you just have to find peace with that and look for other opportunities in the future to bring your message to elected officials and the public. You can't fix it on your own just because you try really hard. Alan, what's the hardest part about being a no-kill advocate? Seeing the individual animals killed. Um, when you're um, doing adv you're adv advocating and you're looking at in either individual animal records or seeing people on social media, photos of dogs um, or photos from those records and seeing them killed and you have were not able to save them. And uh, that is really the worst. Uh, and also it's the most motivating thing as well. For me, I think it's uh, ironically David and Goliath, because I am David Train, um, is that I feel like the no kill is always a smaller, um, less funded um, groups uh, with, with with less reach. And the uh, the opposition is always well funded and the traditional shelters and, and organizations. Thanks for joining us today. This has been No Kill on Cage. I'm David Smith with No Kill Colorado, here with Aubrey Cavanaugh from No Kill Huntsville, Shirley Marsh, Yes Biscuit, Alan Rosenberg from the New Jersey Animal Observer. We'll see you next time.